Sorry I'm late. Mrs. Prescott broke a crown and... Orson, how well you look. Hello, Mother. A word, darling? I can't believe you did this. And I can't believe you told me that she was senile. You lied to me. Yes, to spare us the misery of her company. You don't know her, Bree. She's a loathsome woman, and I refuse to break bread with her. Now you listen to me. That woman gave you life, and the Fifth Commandment tells us to honor our parents no matter how hideous or repellent they may be. That's not exactly Orson. What... It's implied. Now get out there and show her some respect. Fine. But if you expect anything more from me than forced civility, you will be deeply disappointed. Bree, the salmon is superb. Well, thank you. It did win me the blue ribbon at the Gourmet County Cook-Off. I just love the sauce. What gives it that kick? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You'd never ask a magician how a trick is done. <laughs> You've barely touched your salmon, dear. Is everything okay? Yes. I was just wondering why you're here. I want us to be friends. Okay. I suppose I just had a massive head injury and believe you. We're pals. Now what do you want? Orson, why does she have to have an ulterior motive? I want out of that home. Ah, there it is. It's a hellhole. Besides, I'm perfectly healthy now. My hip is better, I can handle the stairs, and you said, when I got strong enough, I get to go back to my house. Oh, here's the thing. I sold it. What? You heard me. What about my things? All gone. Oh, I also sold the car. See, that's the thing about hell holes. They don't pay for themselves. How dare you? You have no right! Okay, maybe I will share my secret ingredient. I should have smothered you in your crib when I had the chance. Paprika! There, it's out! That's the mother I remember. I was wondering when she'd show up. Yes, Orson. I am your mother. So you, more than anyone, should know how I deal with betrayal. So, can we call her Grandma? 